Hello, I'm David Hickman, Professor Emeritus at uh, Arizona State University. And today we're going to be having our second video on trumpet pedagogy. Today we're going to talk about something which may seem like an unimportant subject, but it's actually very critical. And that's how you hold the instrument, particularly with the left hand. The beginners usually have small hands, and so they hold it however they can, and it's usually not correct but the teacher needs to make sure that by the time they become young adults or now in their mid-teens, their hands are larger, that they rethink how they're gripping the instrument because it does have a, quite an effect on range, sound, and endurance. So the left hand is the most critical part. We wanna make sure that the, that the wrist and the forearm are in alignment. So we hold the instrument like this. If we do the flat against the, the valves, which a lot of beginners do because their hands are so small, we, we have to shift our hand to be about a 90 degree angle. I call that the duck head. And that's a, that's a very uncomfortable uh, way of holding. If you just hold your hand like that for a minute or so, you'll feel a lot of tension in your wrist. And the, uh, it can cause even a carpal tunnel syndrome where it pinches the nerve that goes uh, through the center of your wrist and, and causes a lot of pain. So we want to keep it uh, at a good angle. I like to have a, a grip that has a, a gap in here about the size of a golf ball. This enables me to, to move the first and third slides very easily. And uh, when, I, when my hand is flat, it's, it's very difficult and painful almost to move those slides. So I like to, to get that parallel and have the gap, hold it like that. Now you'll see some people put all the fingers up on top, some put one down, which is what I do, some put two down, some three, some four, some even hold it like this. And they do make extensions that, uh, for valve bottoms that, that extend about three inches, you can hold the instrument down here. And that's particularly true with a lot of the high note artists, they tend to hold it lower. And we, have, we wonder why do they hold it? Is that just a cool way to, to, to look? I don't think so. It's really an advantage to put the, uh, as you bring in the mouthpiece pressure, if you're pulling from down here, it goes into the lower lip. And we wanna protect our top lip. The top lip does almost all the vibrating. And as you play higher and higher, you'll find that the top lip does essentially all of the vibrating. So we wanna protect that top lip. You can mash on the bottom lip all you want. It won't really affect things, but you press a little too much on the top lip and it kills everything. So. You may want to experiment with whether you put one finger down, two, or whatever. Usually the lower grip will, will put more pressure into the lower lip, therefore taking some off of the top and therefore aiding in the vibration of the top lip. So that's important. And then we want to make sure that the, the valves are in a parallel alignment with the forearm. So it's like this. You don't want to turn it this way because that, again, that puts tension on the wrist. And you certainly don't want to hang the instrument from the wrist like this because now it's putting a lot of weight on the wrist and it's also putting the pressure on your top lip. So a nice alignment, golf ball grip, experiment with this. I've had students shift from this to just one finger down uh, and sometimes the range will go up a whole step or even a, a third immediately. So it's, it's worth experimenting with. But find something that's comfortable find something that uh, seems to work best for your range. So it's really important. The right hand, well, I like to put the thumb between the lead pipe and the first and second valves. And then it's, it's, I like to have a tennis ball grip where the fingers are curved and, the, and they're at a 90 degree angle so that they, they work properly. If you, if you tilt the horn or if you have flat fingers, you tend to push sideways. See, I can make my valve stick a little bit just doing that, but straighten them down, they'll work fine. And so anyways, that's worth thinking about, and that's what I'd like for you to work on. Um, let's take a look at some photos of people that uh, hold the instrument in different ways.